Hello, my name is Cheryl, and if your file drawer looks anything like this, you're going to love my easy tips to keep your files looking attractive, well-organized, and easy to find. First, let's talk about why this file drawer looks so chaotic. The eyes are having to sort through random colors, random plastic tabs, and um, inconsistent labeling to finally find a file. So, now I'm going to close this drawer and magically transform it. Now this is a file drawer worth opening and look how easy it's going to be to find that important document. Notice the fresh new vibrant colors, a clean, nice live energy. And notice how the file folders match the hanging files. I have a lot of papers in my life and I like to break them down into different colors. For example, my personal files are in my favorite color, purple. And those are like my activities and hobbies and personal interests. Then I've got my financial files that are in the color green. And those would be like my bills and my banking statements, um, any kind of savings or um, retirement kind of things. And then I've got my instruction manuals in red. And I've broken them down into the different kind of parts in my house. And then I've got my business files and those are in a completely different drawer. So notice um, the plastic tabs. They're all clear. They're the exact same kind. I like the kind that tilt back a little bit. And they've got this little side here that's down instead of the boxy kind. And notice how they are all nicely aligned. If you're right-handed uh, and you're doing just one color, you'd want to line them on the right-hand side. If you're left-handed in one color, then on the left. I like to break this up uh, by staggering the right and the left and the right. Also notice the lettering it is all consistent lettering. Now this is my best friend. I use this for all of my lettering. But if you prefer to do just handwriting, make sure your writing is the same consistent pen, preferably a black pen, and that it's either all cursive or all printed. And do it left, uh, flush left, so that you don't run out of space by the time you get to the end of the label. And notice how the plain white label matches the plain white tab here. It's a nice, clean, simple look. Also, everything is in alphabetical order. From the time we are a young child, we are trained to think alphabetically. So it's a logical thing that we already know how to do. And so if you place your files in alphabetical according to what's on the tab, it'll be much quicker for you to find that important document. In these files, there is no more than one inch of papers per file folder. For example, this. Notice these creases at the bottom of the file folder. If you just crease it down, then it can look like this, and then it, you'll be able to see the tab. If you were to just keep it straight like that, then um, the papers go up like that and it just and it gets in the way. Also another rule of thumb is to not have more than one inch hanging file folder either. If you have more than that, just break it up into different hanging files. Another thing that I do that works really well is to have no more than three file folders in a hanging file. And I like to stagger them so that it, when, as soon as I'm looking, I can easily see uh, what files I've got. Another helpful tip is that when you have, open your file folder, all the papers should be facing the uh, left-hand side. That way you can thumb through and easily find what you're looking for. And also notice all the smaller papers are in the front of the file uh, so that they don't get lost. It's also important to open out any folded papers so that they aren't hidden either. So there you have it. The tips I just showed you will make it much easier to retrieve that important file. Don't waste another day in chaos and overwhelm. Let's get you organized.